What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network for week one of the Omnipoke Online Play PTCGO League. This week, I am up against Little Dark Fury as my first opponent. And the way this is going to work, we both bring three different decks. And once you win with a deck, you cannot play it anymore. And the first person to win two separate games wins the match. If we win 2-0, we get three points, our opponent gets none. If we win 2-1, then we get three points and our opponent gets one point for the league. Uh, so this is kind of going to be the format I'll be doing these videos in every week. We're going to uh, introduce the three decks I'm playing this week, and then I will uh, put the matches that I recorded after this. So I have not played the matches yet. That'll be like... A little after these uh, introduction videos usually so this week I've selected ADPZ, Luke Metal and Torkoal V as my three decks. I think that knowing the opponent definitely influences my choice a little bit so Little Dark Fury in case you aren't familiar with him if you are not yet though go check out his YouTube channel I'll have it in the description down below and every week I'll have my opponent's channel in the description down below but Little Dark Fury is known for playing rogue decks and obscure cards and trying to make funky things work now I'm not sure if he's going to bring that uh that kind of thing he has with the rogue decks to this league i'm not sure if he's just going to play meta or try to beat all the meta with off meta stuff uh he did get top eight in a hexter tournament with a mad party roxy dugong deck that was kind of rogue but now is a little bit more known because of his placement with it so um, i'm expecting him to bring things that are at least on the off meta side of things uh so that's why i've went with luca metal and adpz uh, but if he leads something like ADPZ, then I might say, you know what, he might just be playing, like, top three decks. He might just have, like, ADPZ, Eternatus, and then, like, Sansa Scorch or something. So, like, if I think he's going to throw uh, Eternatus at me next, I might send in Torkoal uh, instead of the other. So I think I'm going to lead with... I haven't decided yet. I'm either leading with Luke Metal or ADPZ. We'll have to see which one I go with. Um, I think I'll lead with Luke Metal and then decide from there uh, based on his first deck where I think he's going. If I'm expecting a meta deck to pop up next or another rogue deck. So I think Luke Metal and ADPZ can handle rogue decks very well. Torkoal cannot handle rogue decks at all. <laughs> um, it's really, really hit or miss. Um, uh, because if they don't worry about uh, energy denial and their single prize deck, I'm going to lose every time with Torkoal. So uh, we'll have to see what kind of decks Little Dark Fury decides to bring. These are my three, and I'll just show them off real quick here so you can see what we're working with. Uh, ADPZ, kind of basic. Um, I'm not playing the Pokemon Catchers at the moment. I am not a huge fan of those. I'm also not playing Zamazenta. Just very, very straightforward. Uh, both Energy Spinners and Viridian Forest, a third Cherish Ball, Big Charms because the Big Charm on ADP is still good, but other than Big Charm, it's mostly just, you know, let's let's just streamline the game. Uh, we have Luka Metal here, and I'm not teching for Fire decks. I'm just taking the loss to Fire decks, no Scent of Scorch, Baby Blown, anything, anything like that, because I do not expect Little Dark Fury to bring any of those decks. You know, he might just show up with Cinderace, set the Scorch Baby Blounds, and we'll have uh, not, not a fun time if those if that was his lineup. Uh, but yeah, it's very, very straightforward. Uh, Luka Metal Zacian deck with the Galarian Stun Fisk, because that is good against Rogue Shenanigans. And then my Torkoal V deck that has not changed. Same 60 from the Hexter Tournament last week that myself and my mom played to a top 16 and top 32 finish. Same one that I wrote a Patreon article about if you'd like more information on that. And those are going to be my three decks. Hope you enjoy these games that we're about to play. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network. Enjoy the matches. Shouts out Omnipoke. Shouts out Little Dark Fury. Shouts out PoetownStore.com. We're playing nine Pokemon, eight Pokemon. I think we're playing eight Pokemon. A pretty decent start for us we are going second and I, I like to go first with this deck but that's fine we have capture energy to grab luka metal and we'll intrepid sword oh intellion oh okay so we queued up a good one for this matchup so 
LDF has chosen Inteleon. So like I was talking about in the in the uh, intro I recorded, that I hope you watched prior to these games. Um, I wasn't sure if LDF was going to bring meta decks or rogue decks. The Inteleon now right off the bat is giving me an inkling that maybe I should be prepared to play against decks which I uh, like kind of know like meta decks things I'm familiar with since he's playing the Inteleon there's a hammers double hammers let's see if he can get heads on one of them so he does get one heads here there's really no good choice because if he gets rid of the metal I can just get it back with saucer and if he gets rid of the capture I don't care because yeah so I guess he just always gets rid of the metal I guess there is a good choice. <laughs> My hand is kind of bad, but uh, honestly, him removing the energy allows me to use this metal saucer without discarding it, so that's good for me. This is a very favored matchup for me, but um, if I'm too slow, and if he's playing... Uh, Pokemon that can attack into my Zamazenta, then this could definitely go his way potentially. So we'll have to see how it goes. Oh, there's the Tina to get rid of the capture energy, and I'm down to zero energy just like that. Okay, very good play there. <laughs> Crushing Hammer off the basic into the Tina. I love to see Tina being utilized. Y'all know that. Then Hydra snipes 60. Okay. So no Frostmoth down yet. I imagine he will not evolve this Inteleon because he wants an attacker versus Zamazenta. I think... Okay, we'll do this. I think that's all correct. Nice, we get another saucer, we get another Zam. Uh, we don't need to bench double Zam though, right? We'll just saucer. And then full metal wall away the energy. We take less damage now. Things are rolling. I'm already thinking ahead now. If I win this, which I have to, I have to have faith in myself that I'll win this because it's a good matchup. I don't think I want to play Torkoal because what if LDF decides to just queue up Inteleon twice in a row? But if he doesn't and he plays something that ends up beating ADPZ, then what if I have the, what if I bring Torkoal next and then he brings Inteleon back? I don't know. It's, it's, uh, They, these conquest matches are confusing and kind of like you, you beat your brain trying to think of what you should do. Alright, so we're going for a Zamazenta play here. Um, we still have another switch left. I mean, we yeah, we still have two switches if we discard the one in our hand. We still have two saucers left as well we don't need this all right i think i know what we're doing here then um so we could play the safe the safe route would be just switch and leave it up there but then they hydra snipe the energy back to our hand and i don't necessarily like that so actually no i don't I don't like doing that. We research worse. So I think like the second best thing that happens is we just get a Malolana in our new hand and next to we Malolana the Luke Metal out of there. Uh, best case is we get Switch Metal Saucer. I think I'm fine with either of those happening. So we'll research. We could have sent Kate, uh, but I already committed to this too much by what I, uh, by attaching the energy to Zamazenta prior to using Sin Kate. Okay, so we got Metal Saucer, but not Switch. That's fine. 
We get half of it. Uh, goggles is probably best on Zamazenta. Full Scrapper doesn't matter right now. Tag Call doesn't matter right now, but it can get us that Malolana that I mentioned. We'll go ahead and use Training Court since we have multiple energy in there. We could Saucer. Um, we can Goggle. I think it's fine to Goggle because we have three Goggles in deck and this is our first one we're using. And we'll Intrepid Sword. Okay. Something I like about Luke Metal a lot is that you can take it slow and like you can whiff things and you can just have lulls in your game and you can have these kind of like turns where nothing really happens and it's fine for the deck. Whereas most decks in the meta, like 95%, 90% of decks in the meta, like they cannot take a turn off, they just lose. But uh, Luke Metal Zashin can just kind of sit back sometimes. Also, side note, I'm listening to Modern Baseball Radio while I uh, record these matches. So if I hum or sing along to a song that y'all don't hear, I promise there is actually music playing. I am not just, uh, I'm not just losing it over here. All right, so this is, I'm in a really comfortable position now. They scoop up Net the Tina, just swing 30 into the local metal, not very good for them. I need to stretch between these games. I also need to sit better. I'm all hunched. Yeah, so here we're just going to tag call Malolana Guzmahala, then Malolana away the Guzmahala. We have one Guzmahala in hand already. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll play uh, Malolana, get rid of Hala and an energy because we have training court to just get back our energies when needed. Fully heal the Luke Metal, training court and energy back to our hand. Make sure we utilize that properly. We'll use Metal Saucer to attach to the bench to Zam so we can cycle through our Zams if needed. We have another Malolana in the deck. Uh, yeah, everything feels good here. So we'll just go ahead and Assault Tackle for 130. So they're going to swing uh, 70 into us here. Not a lot. <sighs> I've been on the other side of this matchup many a time to know how frustrating it is. Also, shouts out to Jack for making these amazing overlays and all the graphics for the Omnipoke League. I absolutely love it. I don't think there's any harm in not healing this one yet. I actually think it's correct not to heal it yet. Grab an energy. Go ahead and do that. I just got rid of two energy there. I think I want to bump their training court now. Mm, okay, I should have Guzma Hollowed for Chaotic Swell last turn, maybe? Maybe. I wanted to keep using the training cord as the thing. Okay. 
Okay, I'm not going to need another Zam. So I can do that. Yeah, so I think I should have Guzma Holid the prior turn. I didn't play a supporter. I was thinking it was fine to hold on. Potentially, it still was fine to hold on. Because if I grabbed the Swell, I don't think I would have actually played it down because I wanted to use their training court next turn, which was this past turn. But I could have gotten Metal Goggles out. And I want Metal Goggles on my active Pokemon. A reset stamp does not help me. Never need quick ball again. Get rid of those two. These. Should have just one in here, right? Yeah, one energy, so we'll go grab that energy back. And then we'll swell. We get rid of three energy here when we knock this out so their training court's gone um do i need to protect this 160 doesn't knock it out no i don't need to protect it we'll just put that here patch knock out There's the Fisk. Alright, they're down both training courts and four water energy. They have three more water energy on board, so they probably have two left in deck. Two left in deck slash hand. Maybe three at the most. We're grabbing another Inteleon V. So it looks like they're not playing the Suicune, the Lapras, the Lapras V, Caldeo, or it's prized. And these are not open deck list games, so I'm holding on to that tool scrapper because you never know what might pop up. A big charm that swings things or a vitality band that i don't want to do any extra damage a giant bomb when i want to take a knockout with zosh and uh probably none of those things will happen but when i don't necessarily need to get rid of this air balloon right now um like they could just have a switch or a scoop up net or anything and rotate and pivot their pokemon so i'd rather just hold on to this tool scrapper until i'm either going to dump my hand or have a reason to use it like immediately So Marnie and they'll they're already down their Tina, so they can't get rid of my capture energy. Um, but they scoop up netted so they can replace that bench spot with something. I would have to imagine. Maybe have room for a bat or Eldegoss or something. Or Zigzagoon. There's the Dene, second to Dene GX to come down here. Oh, nope, Crobat. An aqua report for not a knockout. Yeah, <laughs> he's out of energy. I thought so. All right, there's the scoop. So we won game one. Okay, so now uh, he gets to choose first or second, but he can switch his deck. I am done playing Luka Metal now.
So yeah, we, you can use any of your decks, but I can't use Luka Metal because I've already won with it. He's choosing to go first. And I'm gonna go with ADPZ. He might hit me with Inteleon again, and I don't want to cue Torkoal into that. Okay, so we're going second with... A fine start. Oh, no, it is not a fine start at all. Oh, boy, we're playing against Desiunes. We should have queued Torkoal. We should have queued Torkoal. No. <laughs> no, it's Desiunes. Alright, we have Mawile on the deck. That's good. That's a start. Uh, we're getting rid of all of our switches. Well, three of our switches. It feels like all of them. Alright, this is good. This is good. This is good. hold on to the quick ball to get the Dene after we bat for five if we don't hit the energy switch. If we don't hit the energy switch yet, we should be down zero energy switches. Um, we prized one. Okay, we prized one energy switch. We have, we can draw six cards here, potentially even a seventh if we were to get Aranguru, but I don't think we want to use Aranguru if we, if we were to get it. Uh, we don't want to use Tool Scrappers, so yeah, the Dene. That's our last switch down the drain. And we got energy switch. Last card. There we go. Okay. We get the turn one altar. So we can definitely assert pressure now. Let's see what LDF can pull out here. There's a research. Candy and Calm just needed a Pokemon. Oh. That sucks. Okay, looks like he might have gotten it now, though. Yeah, so there goes Calm for Decidueye. My only Pokemon that can hit Decidueye in this deck is Guru. That's it. That's the whole thing. I don't want to draw more cards because I could draw too many energy and then I can't accelerate the Guru like I want to. So we're just going to do this, I think. I could have put one energy on top to see if I hit. Yeah, I could have put one energy on top to see if I hit boss's order. I should have used Primate Wisdom. See if I hit boss on the Rowlet. That would have been just absolutely dumb good turn, but low odds of that happening but i definitely should have tried anyway i just completely sped right past i'm playing too fast need to slow down just went right past even considering using primate wisdom because i was using ultimate ray and shuffling my deck but there wasn't a reason to worry about it we are out of all of our switches though which is big bad definite big bad
We just want to smack this decidui. If they have Zigzagoon, they'll knock out the Guru. Nope, okay. We will be taking a knockout with Guru. We're down two Metal Saucers, down six energy after this Guru gets knocked out. Hmm. I should have been attaching to ADP, shouldn't I? We don't have... Oh, we, we don't have water left. I don't think we have water left. No, we don't. No water left. Okay. I think I prime a wisdom note metal to the top and then research. No, I don't want to draw too many cards because I could get locked out of the game if he realizes I don't have switches left. I do have air balloon, but I don't have switches. And ADP could get locked up there because it has the big charm on it. I don't think I want to draw too many cards. There's the fourth energy switch. There's a water energy. Okay. Water energy and energy switch are good draws because I'm going to be low on energy after they knock out my guru. I need to draw like boss off the top deck that's kind of what i need here i think so i think i might have played it too safe by not researching there there's mawile but i need i think i need boss i also want them to have a bigger hand before i all wild them They did just take a prize. We need to just hit one Pokemon off of Mawile, that's the thing. We play one Marnie and it's gone. They only hit us for 60? We could Intrepid Sword without, so we don't have to get rid of our hand. We'll attach. Intrepid. Okay, we don't get a boss. Quick ball for Jirachi and research it away. Makes sense. They don't want to draw into that Jirachi and then it's stuck in their hand. Ah, Viridian away a Jirachi. No, we want those Jirachis in your hand. Please. No boss, still. They did just get rid of double Jirachi, but I think we Mawile. They have a six card hand. I think now's the time to do it. We're just going to see if we can make it happen. Oh, we get none. My thought process was if they have another, then next turn they've already in that one away. And then we're just, we're not getting a, a basic Pokemon out of their hand. And we're down our only card to make them shuffle. Okay, that's a scoop. I'll uh, let him know that I will go. Um, oh, 
should I go first or second? I don't know if I want to play with... Uh, I don't know if I want to play with... Torkoal or ADPZ. We'll go with Torkoal. Alright, I hope he doesn't queue up Inteleon. Hopefully we both go for our third deck, and I have a good matchup. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's Inteleon. Oh, we made a bad decision. I think I shouldn't have let him know. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I should have let him know that I was going second because that makes it sound like I'm playing a welder deck, which I definitely am. <laughs> that was a uh, misplay. Conquest learnings. Misplay letting your opponent know you're going second. Yup, there's the Snommer. We could potentially donk the Snom if it just if he can't switch it out. I might get another Snom here. That would be a good decision, I think. Mm-hmm. Second snommer in the chat. And the Dedene! Okay. Alright, here's the plan here. We want to get double wool, I think. Getting rid of the Volcano, we're going for the early prize, because we have to be very aggressive to win this. Got the Welder. The sequence for this match is early swing with double and then switch it into a Heatran. We also need a switch here. Can't forget the switch. We're not going to need two Torkoal in this game. And quick balling away lets us utilize this turbo patch, which we flip tails on anyway. We can see if we hit the research and we'll just get it out of there. We hit a boss. Um, I'm fine with throwing that away. We play three boss and we have Elder Goss in the deck, so we'll just grab this to toss out. I don't think we need either of these cards, or any of these three cards, so we can just Dedene and then Guru for a seventh card to see if we can hit Balloon or Switch. We hit Switch. We hit Double Switch, actually. That's good. We could get Marnied. I think I'd like to see Switch at the top if we did get Marnied. Hey, look, switch. Okay. Turn my knockout. Get a welder that's beautiful. <clears throat> Crushing hammer. Tails. Okay. Last game, you had to play two crushing hammers to get to the head, so. Might be the same, same thing here. How many crushing hammers does it take to get to a heads? 
for LDF it's two. They're down two bosses orders. Typically an Inteleon deck will play two or three. A fourth energy coming down to the Inteleon V, I think preparing for a potential Torkoal, but I'm not really planning to Torkoal him. Research into the Inteleon. Now we would need a... Uh, we do need to hit a Turbo Patch Heads in order to knock out with Heatran here. That is what we would need. If we're going for this, I think we would... Are we ever going to want to use Torkoal? <sighs> we should probably keep a Torkoal around. Yeah, we should keep the Torkoal. We have three more Turbo Patch in the deck. I'm thinking if I should have crowbatted before all this, but it would have been for a minimal amount of cards, so I don't think so. We just have to try to get lucky here. We're also... We have no Dedenne left, so we can't Dedenne dig after this. Um... Yeah, we'll just Welder. There's Cape, but Cape doesn't save our double wool, does it? Oh, it does not. It saves our guru, though. It does save guru. We could quick ball something away, maybe grab Eldegoss and then guru the Eldegoss to the top. Ah, Cherish Ball, you are not a Turbo Patch. So this would mean we have one, 260 HP, but they're doing 130 next turn. So we definitely put this here. We'll put this somewhere else. So if they were to gust up the Heatran, we have this energy saved and it can switch over to the Heatran. We'll just do a light revenge blast. This is close. This is going to be a close game. I think I, I definitely can win. I don't think I can win. I know I can win this. We'll just have to see how these next two turns play out. Zigzagoon on the curb. I have to set that up as a kill. <laughs> Balloon to the Frost Moth. and sense looks like they're digging for something and no they're not okay i feel good about this now they have 200 hp so i yeah okay we got we got that
Grab some energy. And we still have two bosses in the deck. And we welder two here because we can switch them over to Heatran. We stamp them. Turbo Patch Tails. And we switch to Heatran. Does putting it here even matter? Because if they're going to gust something, they would just gust Torkoal. Oh, here. I can't put it here. What am I saying? We'll put it here. Have we missed two turbo patches this game? Crushing hammer. If they hit heads there, they take it off the torque hole for sure. Would be great to have double available at this point in the game. Yeah, we have two turbo patches left. The top part of our deck's poke gear. Training court lets us get an energy back. Damn, this is going to be very close. Four energy on the Inteleon. We don't like to see that. We do not like to see that. Oh, they're down two boss. Maybe they're only playing two. We'll send up Eldie. Do I try to get a crowbat with this? Maybe I poke a gear first. Yeah, I poke a gear first. We have welder, but welder does not get us where we need to go because double is already gone. Double is dub gone. We can only do 180 with this or get rid of two energy, but getting rid of two energy is not good enough. We've already used our stamp. I think we just have to play to the out of them not having another boss. That's all we've got going for us. Four energy on the board. Three energy in the discard. They have more energy. There's turbo patch. So... I think the top part we would have drawn would be Turbo Patch.
I'm gonna assume they're not playing Tool Scrapper. Do they have boss? <laughs> Crushing hammer. They have heads on hammer. They do have that. Oh no, I'm letting them knock out Aranguru and that means I can't combustion pillar for the game anymore. Oh, I messed up. But oh, wait, if I left Eldegoss then they would just be two scoop up nets away from winning. So I don't think I could have knowingly done that either. Oh my god, this is a mess. Alright, their Crobat doesn't have... Oh, gosh. Yeah, I, I think I lost this. Wait, do we have fire energy left in the deck? Can we just high roll it? We have one fire energy left, I think. Oh my god. We could shuffle two in with float up. What would that even do for me? Could I do anything with that? All right, let's crowbat. All right, <laughs> we have a five card deck. One of them is fire energy. I think that's our only choice. We could turbo patch. We could turbo patch this, send this up. I don't think they have bosses left. Maybe that's the better play. We, we make our odds better. Let's see. We hit tails. Okay, so that's not the play. The play is combustion pillar. See if we get it. Yup, that's all we can do. We have a 20% chance at winning right here. Oh, it's a fire crystal. So close. So close to a fire energy. Ah, oh, GG. That was a great game. Oh man, let's see how many scoop up nuts he was playing. I don't get to find out. I, I'm gonna ask him if how many scoop up nuts he was playing to know if I played correctly with uh, leaving the guru out. Uh, GG's. Well, let's wait to see if he lets us know in case any of you were wondering how many scoop up nets, but uh, thank you for watching week one of the Omnipoke Online Play League. I lost to Little Dark Fury 1-2, to two, so I will be getting one point for my league standings. Little Dark Fury will be getting three. Oh, really close game three. I don't want to end the video. I just want to see if he answers about the scoop up nets.
Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you are not already. Also, make sure you check out Little Dark Fury's channel uh, on YouTube. If you're interested in seeing my live streams, head over to twitch.tv slash Celio's Network. Uh, shouts out again to uh, uh, Omnipoke for running this league. Everybody that's in it and my sponsor, potownstore.com. Best place to get PTCGO codes. Use code Celio for 5% off. Hope you enjoyed these games. Waiting for the answer on the scoop up nets from Mr. LDF. If I hit the turbo patch there, I think I would have attached to Eldegoss and shuffled those cards into my deck and sent up Curlbat. Um, and just hope he doesn't have the scoop up nets at that point. Or he might not have seen my message about <laughs> about the scoop up nets. But GG. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time here on Celio's Network.